So we got a raccoon that's going in through the uh, the roof pipe. Right now you can't really see the hole, but it goes in from underneath that flap right there and has made a hole which goes into the attic. I'm just gonna put a covering on it and a one-way door. That way it'll be able to come out and it won't be able to get back in. Now since there is a vent or so close to it, we would always recommend for our client to seal that up as well. But since this client is changing the roof very soon, uh, they just want to get rid of this raccoon right now. So that's all we're going to do. Say, let's flip it over. I think it's gonna be best. Give that a try. Yeah. As soon as the raccoon is out, the client will change the roof. Uh, at that time, we advise them to give us a call so we can seal all the vents and pipes that are actually on his roof. So these vents are not wildlife proof, so uh, as soon as we screen them off, then nothing can get through them. There goes the washer. <sighs> Tough spot. Oh yeah. We usually won't make a screen this big, but uh, because of the where the hole is situated, and since the raccoon has actually damaged more areas because of the weak plywood underneath, we just made a bigger box to protect that area and just make it easier for a raccoon to get out. It's 
using more material for us but at the end of the day it's easier for the raccoon less stress on it so that's what we do Excellent.